Hi students, welcome back to JJ's Physics class. In the last session, we have discussed about uniform motion and non-uniform motion. During uniform motion of an object along a straight line, the velocity remains constant with time. In this case, the change in velocity of an object for any time interval is zero. However, in non-uniform motion, velocity varies with time. It has different values at different instants and at different points of the path. Thus, change in velocity of the object during any time interval is not zero. Can we now express the change in velocity of an object? To answer such questions, we have to introduce another physical quantity called acceleration. What does acceleration mean? How velocity and acceleration are related? What are the three examples of acceleration? Let us discuss one by one. Let me give you one example. Suppose you are a passenger in a car and stops at a red light. When the light changes to green, the driver steps on the accelerator. What happens? As a result, the car speed up or accelerate. In everyday life, the acceleration means the process of speeding up. So in science or physics, acceleration refers to increasing speed, decreasing speed or changing direction. When we studied about velocity, we already learned that velocity includes speed and direction. How fast the object is moving? What direction the object is moving? That means the change in velocity involves change in speed or direction or both. How we define acceleration? Acceleration is nothing but the rate of change of velocity. Another definition is given here. Acceleration is measure of how fast the velocity of an object changes in time. Another definition is it is a measure of the change in velocity of an object per unit time. What is the formula here? Acceleration is nothing but change in velocity divided by time taken. How we denote this change in velocity? Suppose if u is the initial velocity and v is the final velocity, then we can denote the acceleration as v minus u divided by t. v is final velocity and u is the initial velocity. That means the velocity of an object changes from its initial value to final value. The SI unit of acceleration is meter per second square. How do we get that? Acceleration is velocity divided by time taken. So velocity is what? Meter per second and time is what? In second. So meter per second divided by second what do you get? Meter per second square or meter second inverse of 2. Just like velocity, acceleration is a vector quantity. It has both magnitude and direction. And acceleration can be positive or negative or even zero. So it is just directional. If an object is slowing down, then its acceleration is in the opposite direction of its motion. You need to remember this. Acceleration occurs when an object changes its speed, direction or both. Let me give you an example. When a car starts driving and quickly slows down, you can feel a change in velocity. Most of you have experienced that, right? But when you slow down or stop, your body may push against the seat belt. These changes in velocity, either speeding up or slowing down, are all forms of acceleration. There are three ways to accelerate or you can feel the change in velocity. First one is speed up. Second one is slow down. And third one is changing its direction. First one is speeding up. What is speeding up? When a car speeds up, it moves with positive acceleration. That means the velocity is increasing over time. 
so it has positive acceleration and this is a positive acceleration graph as you can see here the velocity is constant then it start increasing that means the car is at rest then it starts speed up the velocity increases with respect to time another example here is the ice skater is accelerating or he speeds up if the acceleration is in the same direction as the velocity the speed increases and the acceleration is positive next is slowing down when a car slows down what happens it stops that means the object is decreasing in velocity over time then it is said to be decelerating or negative acceleration so here the negative acceleration graph you can see that the speed decreases over time another example as you can see here the balls comes to a stop so its speed decreases and it comes to the rest position that means if the speed decreases the acceleration is in the opposite direction from the velocity then the acceleration is negative just now we have discussed about speeding up and slowing down another important characteristic is acceleration can also be a change in its direction as you can see here the car accelerates as it follows a gentle curve in the road or in the race track another example is a ball changes direction when a batsman hit the ball with a bat so acceleration can also be a change in its direction how do you represent acceleration using graph acceleration can be calculated by a speed time graph or velocity time graph as you can see here the increasing slope determines object accelerates and when the body is at rest or not moving means the velocity is constant then slowing down indicating that object decelerates so in this graph you can see that when the velocity is in positive direction that is at the point a when the point b the velocity is constant at the point c the velocity is decreasing and the acceleration is negative suppose if an object is moving with constant velocity it is having zero acceleration what is uniform acceleration suppose if an object travels in a straight line and its velocity increases or decreases by equal amounts in equal intervals of time then the acceleration of the object is said to be uniform the motion of a freely falling body is an example of uniformly accelerated motion what do you mean by non uniform acceleration if an object travels with non uniform acceleration if its velocity changes at a non uniform rate for example if a car traveling along a straight road increases its speed by unequal amounts in equal intervals of time then this car as you can see here is moving with non uniform acceleration what is instantaneous acceleration the acceleration of an object at any point in time next is acceleration due to gravity do all object fall at the same rate so the acceleration due to gravity of an object in free fall is about 9.8 meter per second square which is due to earth gravitational field thank you